Hey everybody, Dave with Rocky Point Boat Works here. Today we're working on a 1985 Mako that we purchased as a quick flip. We went out and inspected the boat and uh, immediately I saw some items on there that I like. Yamaha engine, Armstrong bracket, major plus. We're trying to keep it a bottom line of a real low amount and um, we're not trying to go overboard. But if you're buying a boat to make it into your dream boat, we're gonna show you what you're looking for so that it doesn't throw you out of budget. You don't want any surprises, bad transom, soft floor, bad fuel tank, and all those kind of things. So I'm gonna walk you through some items and try to hopefully find those hidden things that normally get you in the builds. All right, this is the Yamaha engine, awesome. One key thing you're gonna wanna do because this is probably one of the largest portions of the boat that financially will ruin you or sink you and could affect the overall price of you purchasing the boat. Remove the cowling, inspect certain things, make sure it wasn't you know, sunk or any, you know, those kind of things. Obviously, always do compression, and when you're doing that, you're gonna inspect the spark plugs, and that'll tell you how that motor's been running, unless somebody swapped out some the plugs and put new ones in, it makes it a little difficult. Other things you're gonna look for is your trim, your trim unit, make sure it's not leaking, because those are more costs that are gonna add up. So if you are doing a, a, a flip, you, uh, you gotta add all this in. Um, obviously, we got the gear case off this right now, but you're gonna wanna pull the drain plug, the bottom plug, make sure there's no water in the gear case because in this case, this boat's been sitting for over seven years and a good used gear case is $1,500, $1,800. So again, keep that in mind. As of right now, we're gonna run with this motor. Um, we had it running, it's a real good running motor, so we're gonna keep this and see what other stuff we may find on the boat. Then it'll help us make our decision and saying, hey, we gotta keep that motor on there. All right. Another thing we just noticed when we did roll up on the boat is it's already got an Armstrong bracket. So that is awesome. I mean, these brackets can run up in the five, $6,000 range. Plus you have to pay somebody to put it on or you a long weekend doing it. It's already on, so cha-ching. We got great value now when people see that and it's gonna save us some money. And I really dig in what's going on here. He kind of left an open platform here so you can step in and out. We're gonna clean it up and do some other stuff. Um, maybe move some rigging around and uh, trick it out just a little bit. And the more and more I keep looking at this boat, I am just, I'm probably gonna keep it, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> so uh, back here in the transom, um, we're looking where the bracket meets the transom. We're looking for heavy cracking. Um, I like the fact that I see a lot of, lot of sealant everywhere. So whoever did this install obviously did a really good job and that's not, not gonna allow water to get in to potentially rot out our transom. Um, we're looking for heavy corrosion along any aluminum. I'm not seeing that, I'm not seeing it lift. I'm not seeing uh, big gaps, so that would indicate the transom may be separating. And that's just for a general look out here. We've already looked underneath and we're looking at some items down there. And so far I'm liking what I'm seeing. So we're just gonna move on into the inside and we're gonna look for some other items in there. Obviously more cracking, but um, we'll do some simple knock tests, be able to tell if it's hollow or whatnot. Like I said, it's just giving you a general idea of what you need to be looking for. Okay, so keeping the theme with the transom inspection. We're looking along here. This would be a normal, another point of uh, stress. These are little tiny cracks. We're not concerned about that. They're not big. I'm looking at my washers, my mounting washers for the bracket. They're not sucking in. Um, that's one thing you'll look for. That's very solid, okay? You can tell when you hit it, it's very dense. If you hit something or you get that hollow sound, it's cause for concern. So we're gonna wanna inspect the rest of the stuff down below and uh, I might have to pause a second. I have a very strong fuel odor down here. This boat's been sitting a while, um, and this is something you gotta take in consideration when you're purchasing an older vessel. Um, fuel tanks are always your number one call, especially a boat like this, if you're flipping it, the number one uh, answer, you know, question I get is, when was the fuel tank done? So that being said, I, I got my fuel odor. Here's another telltale sign. If you're looking in here, we got water. So we probably have a compromised fuel tank. I'm inspecting my, uh, my other bolts where the bracket was mounted. We got a little corrosion, which is to be expected, but nothing to be concerned. And I, I don't see any other cracks down in here. And uh, it, it just really sounds, it, it sounds good. So I'm pretty confident we got a good transom. I'm not, I'm not stressing that. You always want to pop all your hatches, move your bins. You can come in here and you can look. I uh, got a real clear view, any structural issues. Again, with the transom meeting the side of the boat, 
that's looking really good. I don't see any cracks, delamination, anything like that, especially with the age of this vessel. You know, those are things you would typically see. I'm not seeing in this boat, so I'm, I'm getting excited uh, as far as for my flip. Again, probably gonna end up keeping it. <laughs> but uh, we're good. I think uh, we'll move on to the next thing. Moving forward, you're gonna obviously see there's some access holes here, inspection plates um, to get to your fuel uh, tank. We pulled that out and not liking what we're seeing, so it does confirm after we did smell our fuel, the tank's in rough shape. However, you can clearly see that this, this floor here, we're blessed, it unscrews. We'll be able to remove it and uh, be able to hopefully get the tank out. If you guys ever pull the tank out of some of these, they get uh, a little tricky. Even though the floor is nice and easy to come out, they foam these things in real good. So while you're up here walking around, always, you know, use your weight, push on the floor. I like to look in areas where anywhere anybody put a screw through, because not everybody uses sealant, and that's a great place for water to get in and rot the wood. But um, I like what I see. Um, it was really good. Another thing I like to look at is your metal work. We all know th this stuff is an art to do anyway, and um, it could get really pricey. So overall, looking at it, it's not heavily corroded. It's very, very dirty. But I'm looking, I'm making sure I don't have any cracks. It doesn't look like anybody's been modifying it over the years. So it looks real good. We obviously need new canvas. We're gonna be doing that. We'll, we'll probably end up throwing some new taco uh, spreader lights on it. Um, taco makes a really nice overhead light, LED. So put that up there and update the boat there. Everybody loves LED. Got a bird's all leaning post in super good condition. We'll clean that up again. May or may not paint it, we don't know yet, but we'll reupholster it. It's gonna be looking good. Another thing you want to do is get your head up inside the console and, and see what kind of wiring you got. And I tell you, doing this, I find some really interesting things. This isn't bad. It is old. And being that there's not many systems, we're just going to rewire the boat and put all new switches, fuse panels, and update everything. And uh, this way, whoever gets the boat um, has no issues while we're out on the water. So while we're heading over to look at the boat, we're really hoping that we're going to get a deal and because uh, you never know, and uh, I think we found it. Pretty excited, I cannot wait to start working on this thing. Getting tired of seeing it sit in the yard, not touching it, so really stoked, can't wait to start.